Hello. I decided that I wanted to do a video expressing my opinion on Belle's wardrobe in the remake Beauty and the Beast movie, mainly focusing on her ball dress. I'll be covering it from a few different angles. I'll compare it to the original, and I will also talk about how it doesn't fit into the movie in a historical sense, because that's the direction that they decided to go, and just some overall style choices that are just bad. There are three entities you could really pin the blame on for for how this dress turned out, that being the Walt Disney Company and Jacqueline Durant, who's a costume designer, and Emma Watson, because she had a huge amount of influence on how her wardrobe turned out, and so she deserves just as much blame as everyone else. So there you are, the Walt Disney Company deciding that you want to remake the 1991 classic Beauty and the Beast, and you and the movie makers are trying to decide what direction to take it. And it is very obvious that they decided to base it heavily on its original animated version, with taking a few other detours here and there. But there are parallels through the whole movie, and it is impossible to ignore the similarities between the two. You can compare it to three of the movies that came before it, all of which decided to veer away from the original that it was adapting. And Cinderella went in a very different direction. The costume designer for that one, Sandy Powell, said that she wanted it to look like it was set in the 19th century, but made in the 1940s and 50s. And there's also obviously a fantasy vibe through the whole thing. But so it worked, they were able to take more creative liberties because that's what they established for themselves. Whereas in the remake Beauty and the Beast movie, it is obviously and intentionally set in the mid 18th century France. And Jacqueline Durant has said this. So as far as comparing it to the original animated version, some people think that's unfair, but I feel very justified in doing so because of how much they obviously based it on that original film. Belle's ball dress in that original film is so gorgeous and beautiful to look at, whereas in the remake version, it is so boring. They say that they took inspiration from the original one and Im implemented it into this dress, but I see very little resemblance, if any at all. In the original one, it is gold, and you can tell that by the context of the film compared to objects and settings around her. And it has a shimmer on it, which kind of reminds you of a metallic sort of material. But in the remake movie, because of the context, you can tell it is not gold. And in the original one, Belle's dress is two-toned, and so it gives it some depth and dimension with the lighter gold and the darker gold. Whereas in the remake one, it's just a matte yellow, and so it looks very flat. The only thing that really stands out on the remake one to give it any kind of depth is the designs that go around the bottom, which to me hardly does anything anyway, because while she's dancing, it's so far back and there's so much movement that you can barely see it at all, and so it's not effective. In an animated film, all of the details have to be simplified because that's just the nature of the medium. So when you adapt it into live action, you get to add detail to give it more depth. Some great examples are Cinderella. Her dress has so many layers of different fabrics and different colors to give it so much depth. And they also do pull this off in the remake Beauty and the Beast with Belle's blue outfit. They gave it different patterns of blue to make it a little bit more interesting and give it some character. So they got it there, but then just failed with the yellow one. And especially when she's standing next to the Beast, she looks so simple next to his gorgeous, elaborate, embellished coat and the room, which is incredibly elaborate. She looks so simple and so out of place. And I gotta say, the Beast's wardrobe through the whole movie is gorgeous. They nailed it with the Beast's costumes. But anyway. To me, her dress really just did look unfinished. Like when I saw the early promotional stuff, I thought, okay, that's headed in the right direction, but you know, they'll keep improving it. So when that's what it ended up looking like on screen, I was so disappointed. It looks like it's not done. One of the qualities that I think they could have added to this dress to give it more formality and make it more special is by giving it mid-length sleeves. Because of the short sleeve she has, it looks so modern. One other thing they could have done is to make her hair more formal. They could have curled it or put it up more. It looks so casual, just hanging down. And through the entire movie, her hairstyles are just so different from everyone around her and she looks very out of place. One of the biggest problems with her wardrobe in this movie is comparing her to the setting and people around her. 
This is set in the Rococo era, mid 18th century, which is arguably the most gorgeous clothing in human history. What you wanted was to try and fit as many ribbons and bows and lace on your dress as you could, as well as big elaborate hairstyles. And they actually do accomplish this with many of the other people in the movie, with the dancers that you see at the beginning and the wardrobe character all over the place. You are seeing that, and so you're expecting that. The examples go on and on with how much they did their homework and you can see it reflected in the film with the different jackets and coats that they used and the bonnets and just many of the different patterns and fabric that they used, etc, etc. Now there are some things that are a little bit over the top or a little bit silly, but you can tell there was that baseline that they started with historically. Belle's ball dress should be the highlight of the movie. We've had a lot of time to build up to it and we've been seeing so many amazing costumes throughout the movie that our expectations are very high. So when Emma Watson comes down in this boring dress that has no volume to it and such a modern cut and silhouette, it is very underwhelming. And it just looks like a prom dress. Where I wish they would have gone with Belle's dress in this remake movie is implementing my favorite style from this time period, which is called a sack back dress. Has more official French name that I don't know how to pronounce, but it, it is showed off in the opening dance scene beautifully. It has the open front dress that shows off the stomacher and the petticoat with the mid-length sleeves and flaring lace at the elbow. It's so beautiful, and I wish that they had implemented that style into Belle's ball dress. It's such a wasted opportunity. There are so many ways that they could have taken inspiration from history, and they could modernize it if they wanted to a little bit, or over-exaggerate it, or make it a little more fantasy, but they didn't, and they should have. And her dress at the end doesn't fit into the time period at all as well. It, it has a silhouette that's closer to a dress of like the 1950s. Let's take a break from her dress for a moment and focus on her accessories. As far as the one that's up in her hair and on her bun, I don't have any official complaints about it. I just don't like it. What it should be doing is holding up more of her hair to make her look more formal. But that's all I really got on that one. I just don't like it. And then there's the necklace, which to me just doesn't fit in. They said they wanted it to look like it was, you know, alive, part of the castle, right? But to me, it just looks really skinny and really twiggy. And I haven't seen anything else like that in the castle other than like the little stuff that's on her ceiling. So I don't see the need to implement that into her ball dress. If they wanted to go for something organic, they should have done a rose. That would have been such a great way to tie that in. Such a missed opportunity. And then we come to her ear cuff. Oh! I can't stand this thing. First off, it just doesn't fit in with the movie at all, with the design, with the time period, but more than that, that is something that Emma Watson does a lot. If you go and look at different premieres and events, she very often has an ear cuff or large earrings on. So when I saw that on Belle, I wasn't looking at Belle. All I saw was Emma Watson. It was very distracting and it took me out of the movie experience. One of the big things that this dress suffers from and her whole wardrobe is that Emma Watson pushed a lot of her personal views onto it. She is a hardcore feminist and she decided that this was the right opportunity to make a statement and it's not. One of the qualities they wanted this belt to have is to have her be a more active character and I don't know why they felt the need to do that because it doesn't really fit with her character. Belle spends a lot of time indoors with very classy and intelligent company. She's not running around outside hanging out with a bunch of animals like all the other Disney princesses do. Belle is unique for her maturity and her sophistication and it is reflected in her ball dress. It has a lot more structure and it's more royal, rich, and full. And Emma Watson didn't want to have that kind of structure. It is very well known that she refused to wear a corset. I could go on about this, but I will try and keep it short. If your corset is made to fit you, you correctly and it's put on properly, there shouldn't be an issue. If your corset is uncomfortable, you're doing it wrong. You should be able to move around in corsets just fine. And women have been wearing corsets for centuries and they weren't just sitting around suffocating all the time. 
They were out doing and working and living. It is possible to function just fine in a corset. And a recent cinematic example of that is the remake Cinderella. She has a lot of structure and a lot of fullness in her dress and she dances just fine. But corsets don't have to make you super skinny. They're there to give a woman her support. You don't have to lace it up super tight. The point of the corset and all of the structure underneath is to help hold your clothing on you correctly because when you don't have it, your clothing ends up being kind of frumpy and that's very obvious in her opening dress. You can tell it's just like all bunchy. And if she'd been wearing a corset, her posture probably would have been a lot better, which is just something that annoys me the whole time. I want to share a quote with you that I found in an article on Vox and it says, the major thing that this gown tells us about Belle is that Emma Watson plays her. And that is so true. It's a great way to sum up this dress and her entire wardrobe. So in conclusion, I just want to re reiterate how much more disappointing this dress is than the original and how it doesn't reflect the rest of the movie in a historical sense and how they tried to push all these modern views onto it that didn't do any good, were distracting and made for a very disappointing dress. I will leave you there. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.